Hello internet, long time no smell, this is Fragmenta Anime here bringing you a look at a large railgun turret for Space Engineers, the Broadside Warfare Update. So I haven't been able to find anyone who's done a video yet on a large railgun turret, I've seen plenty of the ball turrets, uh, but nothing quite like this as yet. So I'll bring it to you real quick. This is the build, real basic, almost zero armor on it. Technically it's two pieces, so you've got your main rotor attaches to the bottom assembly, so advanced rotor so it can feed the ammo in, to this bottom assembly part, with three hinges attached to the top. Think about it like a battleship gun, or a, let's say modern battleship, even though we don't really use them anymore. Anyway, so the rotor works as a rotor does. The key to making this work is using the three hinges. Now, in the custom turret controller, you can only have one vertical and one horizontal controller. In this instance, the middle hinge here is the controller. The two hinges on the outside have their torque turned down to zero. They are there purely to feed ammo to the outside rail guns and hold the things together. The central hinge will move it all as one piece. In order to stop the rail guns all jumping about, because as we all know with hinges, these are all three separate subgrids, I have put merge blocks here underneath. Now, these hold it all together, so when the AI does its shooting, it doesn't all blow apart. So, again, two sections, the horizontal rotating section and the vertical rotating section. I have thrown a reactor and some batteries and cargo containers on so it can hold its own ammo and be self-powered. If the ship loses power or the railgun gets detached from the ship, it'll still be able to fire. I have, for safety purposes attached welders into it they will weld up each of the rail guns because they'll be exposed outside of the turret and i have a welder down here that will take care of the rotor should it do any damage or when it's rotating naturally so there we go you would have a ring around the bottom and the armor will be inserted into it this is a bit of a weak spot underneath because as the guns elevate it will expose the underneath of the internals of the turret so that's the build. I'll take you down to the custom turret controller and we'll have a look at how that's set up. So you can see it on screen and copy it as you will. This is the custom turret controller I'm using for it. Uh, nothing there. Let's scroll down here. Right, so the advanced rotor for the azimuth, the central hinge for the elevation, and a camera for a camera. Now, in order to be able to make it work correctly with the AI, you have to have your velocity multiplier turned quite far down. Um, and the way that I had it set up, you have to invert the vertical, uh, the elevation velocity multiplier in order to be able to actually have your mouse um, go up and down when you say up and down. And the angle deviation is rather important. It stops the gun jittering and it, you can slide it around pretty low here, um, but you don't want it all the way down the bottom. You'll see when we go do some AI test firing in just a moment. Uh, yep, rail guns are set in there and aiming radius set up to 800 meters. I've got enable AI off, we'll get to that in a minute when we hop into the actual gunnery seat for it. So, I will get you to have a look at this rotor. Torque, braking torque, lower limit, upper limit. Now I have set the um, lower limit and upper limit to these angles because that's how the gun will be firing once I put the armor on my ship. You can actually have this thing rotate full 360 degrees if you want to. Let's move to the hinges here. Got hinge one, two, and three. Hinge one and hinge three is the left and right hinges. Hinge two is our actual working hinge. Again, moving down here, you see that is the torque for moving it. That will move the entire um, assembly with that, all three of them and the lower limit and upper limit set so that it won't go all the way backwards and then break itself on the batteries behind the rail guns. Let's go to hinge one here. Hinge one and hinge three are exactly the same. The torque is set to absolute zero and lower limit and upper limit is the same as hinge two. So hinge three here, torque is set to absolute zero. This works like your bedroom door. If your bedroom door is unpowered, it just sits there swiveling. Throw a third hinge on your bedroom door in the middle, make it powered, that'll move the rest of the door and the other hinges are free. Uh, free floating keeping everything held in place cool now let's get out of here into the gunnery seat and i'll show you how this works uh the way that i've got it set up here one gets you into the custom turret controllers to actually use the weapons two is ai on or off 
and 4, 5, and 6 lets you individually fire each gun instead of hitting the mouse button and firing all three. So we'll hop in and have a look at the play on these weapons as they move. So this is about the maximum. This is full me going full on my mouse pad left and right, full up and down. So it takes a bit of work to move these around, but they don't snap off in the process. Again, the camera is about one and a half blocks below the actual gun itself, below the central one, and it actually makes aiming a little bit tough, so you kind of have to do some leading fire. Um, so we'll fire off uh, the central gun and see if we do a hit. Well, central left. See, just a little bit high. Let's drop down here. Central gun. There you go. Oof. Great stuff. And you see that it didn't, it didn't jit around, it didn't do anything crazy. It's actually relatively solid. So I'm going to rotate it all the way around here and we're going to turn the AI on. I've got one round left? Yeah, in the right hand gun. So it's still, it'll still fire on this one. So let's turn AI on. It has acquired the target and we'll fire the weapon. Oof. I'm going to get out of the chair here and we'll watch it up close for the next round that will go off to this target over here. It's already tracking. You see it's got a little bit of little bit of wobble. Just a little bit. I might be able to fix that. It doesn't do it all the time either, but this is about the worst that this weapon does, is this little bit of jiggle here. Here we go. Bye, buddy. So it's still tracking. As soon as it stops tracking, wobble's gone. Now that wobble might be the angle deviation. Um, where it's it's trying to make sure it's holding it inside that angle. If I widen that angle, or make, that ang the, make the angle deviation higher, it probably won't do as much of a jiggle as that. But again, you don't want the angle deviation too high, or it won't actually hit the target you're looking for. So, that's it. That is the large turret with the turret controller and firing seat all set up for you to go out and create mayhem with on your own ships. Also, I think you could... Depending on what a rotor can handle, I've got the feeling you could put quite a few rail guns on top of this turret before the rotor fails. Because all you need to do is make sure that the one hinge will lift, lift it, and the rotor can turn it, and you're good. Anyway, like I said, happy gaming. This has been Fragmented Anime, bringing you another awesome video. Bye.